Hi, it's Thursday, 12th of April 2018. Welcome to Real Time Daily Trading Ideas. We have five days a week, five different traders. We will speak about trading ideas, strategies, market screening, and maybe one or two questions from your side directly answered on our webinar. Our goal is quick and smart, but for that daily, so let's have a nice start, like every day. And like every day, we will start with our risk disclaimer. Forex and CFDs are leveraged products and can result in losses that exceed your deposits. If you are a starter, please start with a demo account and make yourself familiar with long trading, short trading, leverage trading, and your personal risk management. If you'd like to read the full risk disclaimer, just visit one of our web pages, for example, atmarmarkets.com, and you will see everything displayed there. This is me. My name is Jens. I'm talking from the Berlin office from Atmar Markets. We are a big broker. We have 18 country offices. So I'm the German guy. My English is made in Germany too, but hopefully some of my quality too, but I'm not the main speaker. The main speaker is the day trader of today. This is our scheme. On Monday, it's Jay's day. On Tuesday, it's Paul's day. On Wednesday, it's Giancarlo's day. Like today, on Thursday, it's Zinat's day. On Friday, it's Dirk's day. Five days a week, five different traders, five different trading styles. Join us. We will be available every day. Our leading day traders live. And of course, if you like to trade Forex and CFDs, you will get many benefits only without my markets. For example, one of our bestseller DAX 30, triple the spread of just 0.8 points to the main trading hours. You can start with mini lots trading. You can choose the platform MT4 or MT5, both is available. And of course, great safeguards like our negative events protection policy. Check all that out on admanmarkets.com. There you will find also something about our regulatory background and how to contact us. You can call us, you can send us email or visit the other channel like YouTube. A couple of hours later, usually our webinars are recorded and to find in the YouTube channel. Enough from my side. Um, this is the wrong page. It should be Nena, but that's my mistake. But anyway, now you have the voice, you have the screen. Hi, good morning, Nena. What's your view of today? Good morning, Jens. And excellent to hear from you as always. So, uh, uh, I will show you some nice uh, trading ideas today. Hopefully, these trading ideas will come to fruition and we will make some pips. So, uh, first idea is the dollar CAD. As you can see, the dollar CAD has been trading in a downtrend. You can see this moving average. This is EMA 89 moving average. And the price is uh, stepping down. You see this uh, side step down. This indicates a zigzag. This is bearish move and we might expect some nice uh, rejection if the price gets within this region of course in order to get here first it needs to break this daily resistance it's 2620 and then it could get here and start to reject so my idea for today first is to uh, look for possible shorting opportunities on the dollar cad if the price get to this extreme point. Why do I say extreme points? First, because this is daily H5, so it indicates, uh, well, the strongest uh, daily uh, resistance. And also, this is weekly L4. It indicates a very strong weekly resistance. Uh, now, this was support before it broke, so when support breaks, it turns into resistance. So this is resistance, this is resistance, this is EMA 89. What do what else do we do we need? I think nothing else. Just I would like to see the slow grind towards the target. I don't want to see a fast, let's say, break through this, then I will not short it. I want to short if the price slowly grinds to this zone and then i will try to look i will zoom into 15 minute time frame and we look for some reversal patterns if it happens then we can say okay this is a time for us to short it uh, also i would like to say that uh, generally speaking uh, this pair is very susceptible to oil movements because uh, the CAD is the quoted currency. So base currency is the dollar, but CAD is quoted currency. And there is a strong correlation between uh, the oil and the CAD. Uh, this is my new laptop. So I still haven't installed uh, Armour Markets MT5 Supreme Edition. I will do it today. So uh, basically, 
guys my advice is to visit admiral markets mt5 supreme edition page and to install it so you can see the correlation matrix on my other computer i have it of course but unfortunately on this new laptop i still haven't installed it but i will do it as soon as possible because guys correlation is something that i cannot personally trade without so it's always good to watch correlation uh, oil and CAD and of course dollar CAD so this is the level where I would look for shorts now if it goes up then guys you might expect a possible retest of this weekly L3 again but uh, if the price wants to remain bearish it should reject from here towards these levels 2620 and 2600 if it wants to be really bearish then it will break this uh, level if not then it could retest this level because then you see it will make probably inverted head and shoulders and then it will spike up so in my opinion i think that the price could reject from this zone get here and here then this will be decision point if it wants to be bearish it will proceed down if not if it wants to be bullish then guys watch this it will reject from this zone and it will be uh, so it will be inverted head and shoulders inverted head and shoulders and you can go long again if the price goes above this zone but i would not go uh, long today uh, even if it breaks higher because this is really the top resistance and i don't want to long into resistance no matter what my other trading idea guys i am uh, long already on dollar yen so this these are my positions well uh, i'm trying to exploit this beautiful leverage that Admiral markets has to offer i'm always trading with one to 500 leverage of course if the account is lower than that is my opinion then 10,000 k then it's okay if the account is 100 k then one to 100 leverage is also very very good uh, of course this is my low to high build up project i'm trying to build up my account and i'm using a perfect one to 500 leverage provided by our great brokers that we trade with so uh, this is my uh, long position and now guys of course uh, it's up to you how you will trade which kind of risk you will use i'm risking my profits that is what i always say guys i'm always risking my profits equity i don't want to touch uh, i want to risk my profit so this is it basically <laughs> a little bit you see uh, uh, strong positions basically i'm running uh, well uh, a lot of uh, my three positions but i have uh, uh two lots here oh, not two lots but one point uh three lots so basically this is like i'm risking my profits that i made for last two days i mean it sounds uh you know it sounds good but it is good and as always guys i have my fixed book statements accounts so it's easy to well see how i trade so basically uh, what i expect here is i expect and it, it because my stop loss is close you see my stop loss is not that big it's 106.55 so this is counter trend trade this is pure counter trend trade uh, the price uh, has been dropping you see from this point down 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 but from uh, originally speaking the price is still in uptrend if you take a look deeper look at one hour time frame so uh, broader look tells us that this is uptrend but if you take a look last two days it's been bearish you see so basically from intraday standpoint this is counter trend move okay and uh, you know usually when you trade with counter trend uh, risk uh, to reward is is higher because you're basically you know you're making a move that is close to a possible breakout or stop loss so you see my stop loss is close it's 106.55 uh the reason for that guys i basically i have one two three you see this is triple bottom here i mean if, if it wants to stop me out it will stop me out i'm ready to lose really i'm ready to lose if uh, if the price drops down but you know guys it's trading you need to risk you need to manage your risk and uh, of course uh, uh, if you don't risk you will not earn right so uh, my idea is to okay i'm long here and i want to go still above this point and above this trend line here guys and uh, my targets are here of course i will manage if i'm in profit i will manage positions accordingly 
107, 11, 12 is the first resistance. This is next resistance. And then we will see if the price gets higher. Uh, it's weekly H3, so I'm not sure, but maybe there is strong momentum on dollar yen. Uh, well, you need to know that it's a risky trade because we have Syria developments. Dollar yen is susceptible to Syria developments first because dollar is the base currency, then yen is the quoted currency, yen is a safe haven, and there is usually flight to yen if some risks uh, happen. So, guys, you know, I, I, I'm a little bit maybe risking more than I should, but you know, it's like I decided to do that because if you followed my Wednesday uh, trading, live trading from yesterday, you know that I made nice profits with GBP dollar because I gave you a great entry live on Wednesday live trading session on the GBP dollar. So you could have made nice pips, almost 50 pips from my entry yesterday. So I hope that you made it. And well, if you did, then maybe uh, if you want to join, you can join, uh, risk your profits, don't risk your equity. That is my advice. So very clear as always, my entry zone 10690 to 10680, stop loss 10655, targets 107. Well, I would I would just scale out if the price gets here, put the rest to break even. Then targets are 10738, 107, well 10740, let's say, and 10750 is my final target. I will be looking how the price behaves on lower time frames in order to uh protect my profits if i'm in the profit uh dollar cad is well also clear uh let's say we want to short around 2650 uh, uh stop loss should go uh, to 2670 only 20 pips of stop loss guys because if the price breaks weekly l4 it should go up so again we don't use big stop loss here intraday trading you know intraday trading is like uh, you exploit momentum Okay, it's momentum trading. So basically, this is the short stop loss 2670. Include the spread, guys. Always include the spread to your stop loss. Of course, if you're other market traders, then it's easy to include the spread because the spread on majors is not that big. It's I mean, it's not big at all. It's like excellent stop loss. Only, uh, let's say, one pip, mostly one to two pips. It's great, but include it in your stop loss it's very important so these are my, uh, my two trading ideas i hope that uh, we will make something out of it uh, but let's see your questions okay the first question uh, M michael do not send me your email i can send you the indicator but you need to send it uh, request to my email and then i will send the indicator to you no problem uh, uh, aha. Uh, the question which indicator does create a green blue dotted and red resistance a line you're referring to ah this indicator you just send me an email guys there is a free version for all other markets traders it's free so you just send me an email and i will send the indicator to you no problem at all it's camarilla indicator if you want to get camarilla well you can also request from uh meta quotes di directly guys uh, my advice is you can always go to you see this is how you do it and you have camarilla pilot but if you want it, you, I can also send to you, you just send me an email. But there, there, there is also a good camera pivot indicator provided, of course, by MetaQuotes. Whatever is, you want, guys, no problem with me. So uh, if you have any other questions, of course, I will be glad to answer. Don't forget, these are quick uh, trading ideas, so we still have five more minutes uh do you trade dex could you please read the charts of course then uh, euro yen uh slavomir do not send me your emails please send the email to me i will send the indicator to you but do not send me your emails here because i cannot remember it and uh, i cannot of course uh use uh, citrix for sending you the emails you need to send me your uh a request to my email and of course i will uh, then send the indicator no problems okay so uh, the question uh, can i analyze dex of course i can uh, dex is here uh, this is dex let's do the intraday analysis guys do you see what i see you see very similar movement to dollar yen okay why because dex is following the dollar yen it's basically i mean Usually equities follow forex market, right? And 
again, forex market also follows the equities. So dollar yen is in a good correlation, of course, with with the DAX, and not just with the DAX, but with Nikkei, J Japan 225. Also good correlation with SP 500, and of course with DAX. So it is the similar pattern that we see with the dollar yen. Again, uh, I'm long dollar yen, so I guess if I'm long dollar yen, the index 30 will follow up, right? But if you want to trade it, let's say to the safer side, maybe you would like to wait for a breakout of this trend line. If the, if the breakout happens, then follow uh, these levels. Uh, 12, 353, 12, 416. Because the price will probably get here. This is decision point also. 12, 328, right? Uh, let me just check. 329. This is weekly H3. It needs to close above weekly H3 to proceed further up. So break out here, scalp to this level. If it closes, one hour, four hour candle above this level. Four hour candle is better to close above 12, 329. Because then it will follow up, in my opinion, to the long side. If it breaks this double, triple bottom, then it will go down. But I hope it won't because I want this trade <laughs> to be in profits, of course, guys. So this is called scaling in. Scaling in exponentially boosts your profits. And scaling in exponentially lowers your losses if you lose. That's the pure math. And I always like mathematics. Mathematics is everything, guys. Even when you trade, math will tell you a lot, especially when it comes down to risk management. Okay, uh, next question. Can I analyze the Euro Yen? Of course I can, Euro Yen. Okay, let's see if we have it here, guys. I will show you something. If we don't have uh, a pair or whatever you want to trade the market, you just type it here, guys. Excellent feature of the MT5, and you see how it just jumps out. Okay, one hour time frame. Wow, this is uptrend again. Dollar yen, well, has a correlation to euro yen too. So you see this. I mean, we have also not just this EMA 89, but we have a trend line. So this is uptrend. The only way where I would go short is if it breaks daily L4, then it should drop here, but. Uh, above this, it's bullish, guys. This is bullish. Watch this. Also above weekly H3. This is what I'm telling you. When the price is above weekly H3, it's bullish. You see, it's bullish market now. So I would go long here, probably, yeah. But just let's wait for this candle to close. Then if it's bullish candle, I think, well, if the price breaks this candle, if it's bullish one with one or two pips, then you might go long again. This is bullish to me uh okay let's see one more question i think and then mm, email address tarantula fx at gmail.com michael that is my e email address uh, where do you do your daily live trading session uh valentin my live trading session is uh first monday uh, 6 p.m uh GMT, uh, okay, it's it's 5 p.m. GMT, it's 6 p.m. my time, Monday. Just go to Admiral Markets, uh, go to Admiral Markets uh, main web page, admiralmarkets.com, and uh, if you go to webinars, you will see my uh, Monday uh, live trading. It's called weekly recap and Wednesday live trading session with Nenad. Okay, so Monday, uh, 5 p.m. GMT, Wednesday, 13:45 GMT. Just sign up and, of course, live trading sessions, nothing to hide, everything is clear, everything is transparent. Just go to AdmiralMarkets.com or your local web page. Like I said in my introduction, we have 18 country offices, so maybe also 18 different language web pages, and everything will be displayed there. I say for today already thanks and goodbye. I have to uh -huh, leave. Okay. If Nenad want to speak one or two minutes more, just uh, end the webinar then. Tomorrow is another day, five days a week, five different traders. Tomorrow it will be Paul. And yeah, thanks a lot. Greetings from Berlin. And if Nenad have to say something more, one, two minutes we have, and then we end the webinar. Okay, guys. So thank you, Jens, for uh, 
nice uh, log off and i wish you a great day of course as always and greetings to you and berlin so uh okay guys uh two more questions what indicator are you using i'm using camarilla ema89 and macd uh you need to send me your email uh, uh you need to send an email request so send me an email request and i will send you the indicators okay tarantulafx at gmail.com you will get the you will receive the indicators so uh, finally let's sum it all up euro yen possible long dollar yen i'm already long uh, stop loss 165 targets 106 uh, 12 40 50 and uh, dollar cad i want to short it if the price gets to 26 50 here guys uh, I want to short it. Stop loss 2670, targets 2620, 2590. Thank you guys for listening. I wish you a great trading day and I hope that I will see you soon also on my live trading webinars. Cheers, guys, guys, and as always, trade safe.